spoke about ways they are planning to make high crash corridor areas safer by upping police staff and adding dozens of new traffic cameras. But Transportation Commissioner Mingus Maps is also asking the public for two things. Stop speeding and driving intoxicated. Others say there's more that needs to be done. Today, traffic deaths in Portland are higher than they have been in the last 30 years. Emotions were high outside Portland City Hall Monday morning where city leaders spoke on the 44 traffic deaths recorded this year. But that didn't come without numerous interruptions from frustrated cyclists. Now, I, 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 I hear your rage, I hear your frustration. And about 80% of this year's deaths have happened in just about 8% of Portland's streets, including Division, Columbia, and both Powell and Marine Boulevards. We're very optimistic about the City of Portland's plan to install 40 traffic cameras in the next year. In combination with corridor improvements and safe speed policies, this is meaning, meaningful progress toward a safe system. But while there have been zero cyclists related deaths this year, those I spoke with believe more needs to be done as about a little more than half of last year's traffic deaths were those on bikes or walking. They could clean up the bike lanes, first of all. That could be a really, you keep those cleans, you're going to keep a lot more cyclists in those bike lanes. Uh, the second would be enforce the traffic. If you don't have the officers, put some cameras up and get that going. This time last year, Portland had its 39th traffic death. Sergeant Ty Ingstrom with Portland's Police Traffic Division says we're on track for higher numbers this year. He also highlights the staffing strain the pandemic brought their division unit after they were disbanded back in February of 2021 and reinstated this year. So we're doing what we can with the resources we have. That Afternoon shift coverage is only two sergeants, five motorcycle officers, and two car officers. That's all we could get. The revived traffic unit is trying to cut into some of the 10,000 to 12,000 crashes reported in the city each year, many of which lead to serious injuries and deaths. More officers will be added to the division soon after completing their probation period. Now, there was a lot more discussed in the press conference this morning. You can go to our KGW YouTube page to watch it for yourself or read the highlights we have in an article on KGW.com. Back to you, Brittany. All right, Daisy, thank you so much.